I recently uploaded a video about prostitution in Seoul and when I came here on the night time it was completely dead and a few of the places were open and I didn't realise that the street was so close to the centre the place I was just walking around near the main train station is just up there with all the bars and the busy streets with all the traffic and people walking around and now I'm walking down here during the daytime I expected it to be just as busy as the night but it looks like it's completely dead so I'm here on the prostitute street with three police officers. I can't film them, they've asked not to be filmed, but I'm gonna ask them some questions. In Korea, prostitution is illegal? Illegal. It's illegal? Illegal. Yogi, male bam, prostitution is so yo. What's so Sometimes, sometimes. Why do the police not stop it? Why do the police say no? They work here for their life, so living things. Uh -huh. So they need the job for getting money. I understand. Uh -huh. So the police, they see, and it's okay. Like yeah. Munja if we, if we, uh, we stop, stop them, so many, so many women who work there is, can't live in their life. So mm. uh, we hope the problem. It's solved, but we there's more problem to solve it. Exactly. Okay, I understand. You let them work there is to protect them. Yes. Sir. Because if they don't work there, maybe more problems. Yes. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I came down here on the night time, and I saw very busy. Okay. Thank you. Can I give fist bump? That okay. Son. So wet. How good are you? Because Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. When I walked down here in the night time and I made my last video, you might have noticed that I didn't actually vlog whilst I was walking down the main street because I wanted the women to have their privacy. But now in the daytime, it feels a lot more open. There's just people walking through on the way to work or going to get their hair cut. Because this, I guess, is a business area. Like there's this huge building here where lots of business occurs dealings of that sort and so yeah it feels pretty normal just to be walking down here with my camera out just as I'm heading to have some lunch I still haven't found a rooftop there's no one here I still haven't found a rooftop and I'm determined to find one so in this video I'm gonna find a rooftop try find some danger and then go and get some delicious lunch but before we do that let me tell you about the GoFundMe in the description of this video because at the start of May, me and some friends were going to cycle 600 kilometers from Seoul to Busan. And I made a little promotion video about what we're doing and the charity we're working with. So if you haven't seen that, that'll also be in the description of this video. So if you feel like donating to help the children, click the link and donate some money. They'll really appreciate it. I've just left the bottom of the prostitution street and done some cool filming of this Mercedes AMG and one of the girls in the window was like, no filming, no filming. I wasn't filming her, I was filming the car. But inside there, there was a guy with her and he had on a huge gold chain. I was like, this guy's definitely the pimp with this Mercedes AMG. But he was really kind, he was like, film, film, no problem. And then afterwards I said, Cup somebody da, bow down to him. And he went, nah, bow down to me. So all's good in the hood, baby. One of these is a... Uh... This one looks like it's being knocked down. It's just full of trash. Let's have a wander through here, see how dangerous it is. Ooh. There's a little empty room there with a pillow in. It's just full of little small rooms. And at the end is a construction site. It's just a corridor full of little rooms and bedding. And then here, it's all been knocked down to build something. I'm gonna get out of here before I get in trouble. Quickly. And out onto the main street. 
That actually got my heart racing, that. I thought I was gonna get in trouble. That was the most danger I've experienced all day. The thought of danger. I've just committed a thought crime. Moja, Moshisoyo. Can I get a fist bump, mate? A fist bump, Chuseo? Kosamnida. Not only did I get a fist bump, I got a ne. I'm trying my hardest to find a rooftop, but it's so difficult in this area. Just went out onto that one, but unfortunately, you couldn't really see anything. It was just like the main road and an alleyway. I need to find one where it's a good open rooftop with good 360 views. I am truly exploring the most random buildings. The layout's crazy. Look at this little bathroom. How is any human supposed to wash their hands here? I truly do explore the most weird and random places, but it's a lot of fun. I hope if you're watching this video and you're planning to come to Seoul, you don't just go to the touristy places, you actually go to the cool, different places like this. And I hope if you come to Seoul, you'll come and try and visit places like this, because you'll see a different side to the city. Still haven't found any danger yet. I'm climbing up the stairs of another extremely old building. Oof, don't want to go in that lift. It's got these dark stairs. I think I've got to the top floor and there's a door here. Oh, no! Oh, so close. It's locked off. Look, perfect rooftop. Oh, I can't believe it. I've walked up like 10 flights of stairs. Oh, no way. Oh, I don't want to do that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, the views are pretty good though, actually. Over here, there's this mosque looking building that I cycled past when I came here from my house. And then this area here, I guess is just like the back streets of Yongdungpo. And then the tall red towers over there is Yoido, which is the business district. And just behind those towers is the Han River. Oh, and actually, in the very distance, you can just make out Namsan Tower. But it's a very gloomy, misty day today, so you can't really see it. But also, up in the sky, you can just faintly see the moon. I think in about one more week, we're going to have a full moon. Maybe, if I ask somebody here in the office, they'll be able to open the door for me. Here we are. Looks like no one's working today. Now I've found a rooftop. I can finally go and get some food because I am so hungry. Yesterday, you saw with Heri, we ate Tak Tori Tang. And because there was so much, I actually was able to eat it for breakfast this morning. So, I don't fancy another Korean meal. I'm gonna go to Costco nearby and get a chicken bake. Oh, because I'm starving. Half four. I've got to be at the gym in three and a half hours. So if I gobble that down my gob now, it'll digest in time for jujitsu. There's a door here with banging music and I just want to push it open and see what's inside. Should we do it? If we have a look inside, you have to give this video a like. All right, let's go. I 
I did not expect that. What was going on in that room? I thought it was going to be a Noribang. Noribang is a place where you go and do karaoke. I've got no idea what that was. And I've got no idea where I am. I'm just surrounded by four stairs. Am I in Hogwarts or Diagonal Alley? Diagonally. I think the only dangerous part about Young Dung Port is getting lost in all these old buildings. This guy's lost as well. Mate, upstairs to go to the singing. No, this way, wrong way. I went to Costco and I was gonna get the chicken bake and then I saw they had a bulgogi bake and it cost 3,901, which is about two pounds 75. And I am absolutely knackered. I've been cycling around like 20 kilometers under the sun. So I'm gonna enjoy this. I've had a bite. It's nice and creamy and cheesy. It actually tastes really good. If you're not already a subscriber and you've enjoyed this video, click the like button, click the subscribe button and make sure you've got the bell turned on and I'll see you in the next video. Yo.